Hey Lego City guys back here. I'm gonna do an update video on the uh, my entire city because I'm gonna make some changes um, due to building the uh, amusement park and before I kind of tear things up I wanted to uh, do a video kind of a comprehensive video of what the city looks like so far. This is the entire city um, which I don't think I've ever done a video on so this will include this part of the city and then the other room which is very much a work in progress so uh, hopefully you enjoy it and let's get started so first I just want to show you the entire city in a uh, comprehensive view so you can kind of see the different parts of the city and how they uh, work together over here is the uh, rail yard and then it kind of comes over to the downtown area and all in the distance is kind of an extension of downtown over there and then it kind of comes around and goes into more of an industrial area port um, then you have the major bridges across the water here and then you get over here by the baseball stadium and the transit center the firehouse and then it goes over into the uh, residential area here the beach and that's about it so first we have the rail yard area which has three through tracks active tracks and three siding tracks the outside track I usually use for the freight train since it's the longest and then there's another long track that I use for the passenger trains and then the inside track is used for the red train that goes around the central part of the city and then like I mentioned there's three sidings that are used for parking freight trains and passenger trains when they're not in use so here's a uh, close-up view of the uh, cargo offloading area with the crane the crane uh, moves back and forth here on the rails and takes cargo off the trains and loads them on the trucks where they can be distributed throughout the rest of the city. So here's what I call the downtown train station. It's mostly just used for excursion trains like the steam engine that's parked there right now. Uh, the red train, the local light rail kind of train just passes through there, it does not stop. So that's just basically a shelter and a platform for people to wait for tour trains, excursion trains, things like that. Um, it's a pretty simple station. I will probably rebuild that sometime in the near future, but for now it works. So that's the downtown train station. So I'm going to back up over here and kind of show you where the uh, transit train station is. And that's right here near the downtown area. And this is where three modes of transit come together. And in one station you have the monorail and then a sky bridge here that connects the monorail station over to the steps that take you down to the light rail or you can continue on the sky bridge over here and take the inner city train so here's kind of another shot of the uh, the transit center and I do believe there's a video that kind of shows this in more detail so here you have the other side of the rail yard where you can see two tracks coming in to the rail yard and they branch off into at least four or five tracks and then you also have the monorail that's going above the tracks I just added this monorail so I had to build this structure that goes across several tracks so that all the trains could clear the uh, support pillars the tracks with the railroad ties the brown railroad ties are the ones that run continuous and they eventually climb and incline here and go up before they reach the uh, bridge over here on the other side so uh, that's pretty much it for the rail yard quite a bit of storage over here and all the tracks eventually make their way merging into two tracks before they go through the uh, tunnel so here's a better shot of the tunnel where the two main rail lines come in and then branch off into other rail lines in the rail yard here. On top of the tunnel there's a park and then a couple working windmills. I plan on making this tunnel longer. It's going to go at least two, three times that long, maybe even all the way around the corner back there. And then here's another view of the rail yard looking back towards the other side of the city. So now I will show you some of the downtown area. So here's one end of the uh, downtown area starting here with the uh, transit center I was mentioning before you have the bank building and the palace theater here and then the uh, front side of the train station 
The monorail just kind of goes over the train station at that point. Then over here you got uh, several other modulars. So here's another view of the uh, other side of the street here. You can kind of see it's just uh, modular buildings. Ending down here with the green grocer. And as you go past the green grocer, there's a park, has a statue, and it leads over to the uh, Ferris wheel. The Ferris wheel is going to move into the other room. I'll show you where here in a little bit. So I'm going to be looking for what to fill that space with. I think for now I'm just going to make the park bigger. But if you have any ideas, let me know. And here's another shot of the uh, Fountain Square from street level. You got a railroad crossing and the park across the street from it. Over here is the uh, building that's still under construction. I haven't finished it or figured out what to do with that just yet. So while we're over here at the uh, building under construction, I'll kind of give you a closer look at that. As you can see inside there, they're laying the, uh, the wood flooring. And on the second floor, it's pretty empty. The third floor, they're still working on the actual concrete flooring. And then the top, they're just building the superstructure. It's got a tower crane, a couple other uh, mobile cranes. I hate to tear it down, I really like this thing, so uh, I keep leaving it in place. But I think eventually I'm going to have to take it down to make some space for larger buildings or maybe a new construction site. So over here is the other side of the tunnel. The tunnel is actually kind of detailed. It's too bad it's hidden behind buildings, but uh, it's got some neat architectural details to it, I think. I do need to make it longer, but uh, I, I like it for now. And then here you have a little river. It comes over here, crosses the street, goes under the street. Then it runs along the park area before it dumps out into what is supposed to be a main waterway out here. Alright, so here you have the uh, a modern house. That's actually two of that kit combined into one. And then the diner which came out this year. And then next to that is the high school. And then behind the high school is a uh, park. And like I said, that's probably going to eventually be a tunnel back here. And I'm going to try to do a big hillside with some landscaping, trees, and things like that. And then over here you have the uh, haunted house, which I'm just making it look like a vacant building for right now. And right here is the police headquarters. This is a fully modular police station. You can check out the video on that. And then here is the pizza shop on the corner. So as you work your way around the corner here, you can see the main tracks again and the incline on those tracks as they slowly make their way up so they can cross the bridge over here and another rail or another uh, monorail track as well here so this here is the start of the uh, industrial area and you have a full service automatic car wash which is taking ideas from several sets and putting them together this is several of the lego gas station sets just pieced together to make one gas station and then here is the uh, cargo portion of the harbor where they offload ships. Got a little bitty beach here. And then right above the beach area is another transit stop. And that is actually for two lines. One can go this way and the other branches off and goes that way. And just to kind of show you the monorail real quick, 
this line runs through this part of the city over here back over here next to the tunnel and through the rail yard where they can turn around and come back or they can continue the entire loop if they go the entire loop they just continue on this and come back across through the downtown area and cross the bridge So that's pretty much it for that monorail. I do have other monorail lines. One is finished and another one is in the planning stages. And I'll show you those here shortly. So as you pass by the monorail station, over here on the left you have the baseball stadium. Again, there's a video on that if you want to check it out. It's actually a game going on right now. And across from the baseball stadium is the... Uh, harbor. This is mostly for private boats, fishing boats, things like that. Eventually all this will be filled back with water again. Right now it's, I've taken it down just so that I can work on it, but uh, that's normally all water. And then you have the ferry right here with a little ramp that takes you down to the ferry. And across the street from the ferry is the uh, transit station. So while I'm here I'm going to show you the bridges. These are all very strong bridges that go over quite a length. There's only one support in the middle. So I have two rail bridges and the monorail bridge here. So here's a different view of the harbor area. And like I mentioned before this is kind of a place or private boats can be parked and then you have a ferry ramp and then here's a different view of the transit center where you can walk and catch another monorail or bus and then we have the fire station here and then this street wraps around the fire station. The buses go in the back behind the fire station and they come out here in the front. And then over here is the Quickie Mart. And then as you make your way around this corner here is the beach. So here's a better view of the, uh, the beach area. And across the street from the beach is the residential district. And I'll kind of tilt back here, give you a, a better view of the harbor and baseball stadium area. And then finally you have the residential area which needs some fill in. I'm hoping to build some custom houses to put back there, maybe in an apartment building. And then as you can see the monorail track wraps around this area where it goes down to ground level before it drops into a tunnel with the road heading towards the uh, airport. So that's pretty much the entire city for this room. Uh, as I mentioned there is an, another room where the airport is located in the future amusement park in the military base. It's very much a work in progress but uh, that's okay and we'll go check that out now. Okay so here we are in the other room. This is where the airport's located. As you can see it's a mess. Lots of construction going on. If you follow my videos, you would know that the uh, terminal has actually been taken apart a little bit and moved. The monorail was broken down. I had that kind of laid out with the monorail and the startings of a uh, parking lot over here for the airport. Um, well, that's all going to change now because I am going to make this area right here 
the amusement park. So that's where the Ferris wheel is going to move, along with the new roller coaster, the mixer, merry-go-round, etc. We're also going to do a video again with bringing in a whole bunch of custom rides and making a large amusement park, at least temporarily, with so we'll have two roller coasters and at least seven or eight, maybe ten or more rides. So that's going to be pretty cool. Look forward to that. But yeah, this is pretty big area to work with to build a nice, you know, smallish amusement park. I don't want to make it too cluttered. I'm not sure if I want to bring back the, uh, the Skyline sets. They were in the uh, Legoland video we made, which was really cool, but uh, I'm not sure I'm going to make this a Legoland. I think it's going to be more of just an amusement park. Maybe come up with a new sign, a new name for it. But yeah, that's a, like I said, that's a pretty big area to fill out the amusement park. We're going to have a, a roadway going around the outside. The monorail will still come in from the other part of the city and end right here at the airport. And then back here we'll have some space for airplanes and maybe a jetway. And then as we come across here, I did get the runway finished. It's now about two feet longer than it was before. So as you leave the airport area, you'll go through the, uh, the checkpoint here, which will take you over to the Air Force Base. And again, this is all under construction still. Not totally sure what I'm doing with it yet, but uh, hopefully we'll have something put together here in the next couple videos. We have quite a bit of room here to work with, but aircraft takes up so much space. It's amazing how much room you need to park just a few airplanes or helicopters. So uh, that's pretty much this room. A lot of space, but you know, airports take up a lot of space. But I didn't want to have the entire room in the airport. I thought it would be too static. So. Bringing in an amusement park over here will help bring this whole area to life like the other part of the city is with uh, operating rides, the monorail, things like that. So this part of the city is not quite so, so static. But if you have any ideas on how to lay this out right here, please let me know. Like I said, it's going to be permanently the big new coaster coming out in a week or so, which I know a couple people have already reviewed that online. And then uh, the uh, Ferris wheel and a couple other rides. But I will have a very large amusement park here for a short period of time just to uh, show off some, uh, some custom rides. And then uh, that's about it for this room. If you have any thoughts, ideas on what to do here, how to make it better, Please let me know. But uh, I look forward to uh, hopefully having the coaster built and a good part of the amusement park started in the next video. So uh, that's it for today. I guess I'll see you in the next video.